Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, my name is Brian Jenks and today I'm going to tell you about NFC tags. There's a lot of things you can do with these. They're very inexpensive, they can be programmed, and the sky is really the limit because once you can get these things triggering something, you can really just run run with it. There's so much stuff that these potentially have the ability to do. Um, but before we get into the projects I've made and you know how it all works, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the sponsor of today's video. So a big shout out and thank you to Into the AM, which is a really awesome clothing company who reached out and asked me, hey, would you want to try some of our t-shirts and you know, are you open to a sponsorship? And I said, let me look. And Oh yeah, their designs are amazing. They are a little bit larger than this listed size, which is great because I like a little bit of room. These shirts are incredibly soft, which for neurodivergence with sensory issues where textures really, really matter, um, it's great. And it doesn't bother me at all. I like to wear these and the designs are awesome. I mean, look at the, look at this thing. It's a galaxy. That's freaking cool. And they have, they have all kinds of other really awesome designs like, you know, this, I think it's a Shinto shrine. Really awesome, cool stuff like this. Definitely check out their site and their designs and you're in luck. They've given me a 10% uh, off coupon code, which will be blasted everywhere, video, comment, description, everything. And they also have a sale going on. So you can get three t-shirts for 60 bucks, which, it, you know, for me, I always expected to pay about twenty dollars for you know a T-shirt, but that's like you know the simple ones that you know really cost like two dollars, and people do screen printing, and it's just like your average T-shirt. You get three of these for twenty dollars a piece, and they are nice. So definitely check out their website, take advantage of the offers if you're interested. All that stuff is going to be in the pinned comment in the description below, and let me know if you got a, a favorite design of theirs. I really like. The ones that have a little nature-y vibe to them. And I mean, this one is just awesome. It kind of matches my headband a little bit. So check it out. The best ways to support the channel are, if you're going to do it on an ongoing basis, GitHub sponsors because they take no fees, followed by Patreon. If you're going to do like a one-time thing, buy me a coffee, PayPal are just fine. And if you just want to support me without any money involved, the best thing you can do is like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and that's it. So. What are NFC tags and how do they work? How does all of this look like? So an NFC tag is basically a tiny chip attached to an antenna. They allow for near field communication, NFC tag, and it is kind of like Bluetooth. You could think of it like that sort of, but what this lets you do is kind of just sit here and transmit you know, the ability to do something. So when you tap you know, your phone or device against this tag, it will then say, ah, hey, I found a tag, I found, I found something, and you can decide if you want to trust that and do something with it. So beware, this could be abused. But these cool little things are programmable, so you can tell it what to do once somebody scans it, and uh, Android, Apple iPhone, um, I think most things support NFC and the tags. So where can you get these? Are they expensive? And how can we actually do something with one? So in reality, NFC tags are incredibly cheap and they come in a variety of different you know, sizes, shapes, colors. There's a lot you know, that's out there and they're not expensive. I got this bag of like, I think 10 for less than 10 bucks. And I also like the you know, aesthetic of these ones. They're you know, low profile, black, and they have a little adhesive so I can stick them onto things, which ties into the projects I've used these for and uh, how I actually got started in all of this. So you may have seen it around. And iPhones have an app called Shortcuts, which will let you run, you know, little pieces of functionality. It's kind of like visual programming. Uh, you can decide little workflows and what you want to have happen. And when I scan the NFC tag on my pill bottles, what happens is I have a Apple shortcut down here at the bottom and all it does is it opens the MedSafe app 
Now, on my channel, I've talked about the MedSafe app before, and all it does is, uh, there it is, um, track your medication. So you can see like when you, you know, took medication last, um, I'm not taking my Ritalin today, and there you go, and you can keep track of it. So it's really just a way of enabling me to use this application just for fun. There's probably better ways of doing all of this and managing the tags, but this was interesting, so I did it. Now, what you can do with um, the tags is program them to do specific actions. Now, I have it kicking off this Apple shortcut, but what else can you have it do? Well, let's check it out. So if I go to the app and it's called NFC Tools for Apple, and it's a free tool, and it will let you read and write and deal with NFC tags. Now, because I'm showing my phone here, you can't actually scan a tag and look at it, apparently. So let me try and do that and then share my, share my phone. So if I was just using my phone and I tapped the phone against that NFC tag, you could see that it had that little pop-up right there. And it runs the shortcut and opens MedSafe. Now, if I do the same thing for I got to go to the NFC Tools app, which I will do. Um, and I'm going to tap read because I want to read an existing tag. I'm going to tap it against my pill bottle. And now you should see on the display, it comes back up. This is what that tag on my pill bottle is. So I scanned this one and then I uh, said, hey, NFC Tools, the app, read the next tag I scan, and I scan the one on the pill bottle, and this is what I have. So it'll tell you a bunch of information about it. And uh, let's see, all the way at the bottom, the little gear thing here, that is what is actually running the shortcut. And it's this little URL thingy, and it's just what's the name of the shortcut, and it's called medication, and it runs, and that's it. So that is basically it. So if I wanted to write over an NFC tag, um, I'm going to do uh, write, and I would say add a record, and you can determine you can determine what you want this thing to do. And there's a bunch of options here. You can have it send a text, you could do um, an email, send a file, send a link, applications, social networks, addresses, Bitcoin wallet. There's just so much stuff you could do here. And you could have, for instance, even have a tag where it would and allow people to connect to your Wi-Fi network for easy, just, hey, you want to join the Wi-Fi? Scan the tag. Done. But here's one of the other cool projects that I use this for, is this uh, nice little key fob holder. You know, I can take this, put it on my car keys. I could take this little thing. And what happens when I scan this? So if I scan this, can't show you because I need to do that. And now if I tap and sh put that back in, then do, 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 do. You can see that if I tap the one I just scanned in my little fob here, that it takes you to my website. Why is that useful? Well, for one, this means that I can now have a infinite reusable business card. I could go to you know, conferences or events and take this little fob and, oh, you want to check out my website? Here you go. Scan. Done. That's it. And so with that very simple little tag that costs probably around a dollar, I've now la made a potentially more lasting impression on somebody of who I am, what I do, because cool, you just scan that and there you go, there's a business card. Now there are some that are straight up business card shaped NFC tags. Um, I didn't really want those. This is kind of you know, easier to carry around, cool, because I don't want to keep shoving more cards in my wallet. I kind of have too many. So there's a lot of possibilities that you can use these things for. And literally, the possibilities are endless. You can send things to a URL, which means you can interact with APIs. You can send data, send files, send Wi-Fi addresses, Bitcoin wallets, email, SMS for phone text. It's so much because of the way that everything connects to every other technology and wow literally the endless possibilities. So check these out. It's a very simple and cool way of kind of automating your life a little bit. You can kick off shortcuts, which means you might potentially find more uses for, you know, these little tags for ADHD, for general life, for you know, professional development. 
Hey, I'm, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. That would actually be a lie. This is probably the fifth time I've tried to shoot this video. I've had so many hardware and software issues trying to get videos recorded recently for some reason. Everything's been going wrong. It's been weeks. I've been trying to film. It's been a nightmare. I'm glad I finally got something working, got it done, and here's a video. I have a ton, a ton of videos planned. I'm closing in on the end of school. Things are about to pick up. Thank you so much for your patience. I greatly appreciate it. And for everyone who continues to support via GitHub sponsors, Patreon, anything and everything, I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for your patience and bear with me and my meltdowns as I try to figure out why the hell technology breaks around me sometimes, even though I maintain crap like this. There will be more content about that glorious box of machinery behind me, believe me. But hope you enjoy the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>